Hi guys, everyone's favorite lycanthrope here, Dan the Wolfman, and I have a rebuttal video for you today uh, against two videos made by everyone's favorite little funny man, Icy Mike at Hard to Hurt. He made a video, Dirty Sparring Trick, or Foot Stomps Legit, Broke Both Feet, and made another one called End the Fight Instantly, Breaking the Leg. I'm going to discuss the techniques in those videos, and I'm kind of sick of this guy making all these videos, blowing up his channel using my techniques man so I'm gonna talk about those two techniques the foot staple or the foot stomp the foot plant and the calf kick so I'm gonna talk about those I'm gonna be rolling in b-roll footage from my early videos teaching this I'm the first guy teaching this stuff going back to 2012 but I see Mike let's tell the truth brother where did you learn this awesome foot staple foot stomp technique we all know it was when you and your kid we're watching the Hugh Jackman film Real Steel in the first major fight, Metro versus Adam. Metro staples the foot. You hear Hugh Jackman say, watch out for the foot plant. Who do you think was Metro in Real Steel? None other than Dan the Wolfman, of course. I'm the guy who came up with the foot staple because it happened in the previs, because I do it in open stance. I'll talk about how this technique was used very successfully while I was sparring for Rishi over Doom and making him a little mad. And I'll talk about the calf kicks I kind of came up with doing a lot when I was sparring Roger Gracie. Uh, before we do that though, I want to show you these tough 10 tap out shorts that I'm wearing now. I know everyone's going to wonder, did I get them from Boy Nelson? Did I get them from staying on the couch? of Matt Mitrione. People often wonder on the internet, am I the love child between Frank Mir and Rudy himself, Sean Astin, who you'll see me in a little funny part in a movie coming out next year, or Sylvester Stallone? I mean, so who do you think I'm the love child of? Let me know. Uh, anyway, guys, in Real Steel, you see the big robot, I'll, I'll, I'll put in some footage, guys. Yeah. Metro stomping on the foot, foot, stapling that foot, the foot plant, and then nailing him with the hammer. So the foot staple, the foot stomp ideas, that was mine. The spinning hammer attack was mine. We've seen that spinning hammer attack used successfully in a Bellator title fight. We've seen Andre Olovsky do it before. Look at my hammer strike uh, attack videos. Um, it was almost exactly in Bellator. <laughs> Exactly just like um, in, in the film Real Steel. Life imitates art. So, um, anyway guys, the foot staple. I use it a lot. Old boxing trick, illegal, but doesn't mean you don't try to get away from it. So from open, open stance, southpaw to orthodox, you step on that foot, and I, he, you saw Icy Mike throwing the cross. I like to go triple jab with it. So let me talk about Fabrizio Verdue. First time I ever rolled with Fabricio was in 2000 in Michigan in a barn of all places uh, before people knew who he was. So I rolled straight jujitsu no gi with him. And then uh, I've sparred him, I think, four or five times at King's MMA. And all three or four times, like sparring, sparring, standing up, unfortunately weren't kickboxing or MMA sparring, they were boxing sparring or box wrestling sparring. I forget which. So anyway, I'm boxing Fabricio. For, I'm, I'm shy of 5'11". Fabricio is, I think, 6'4". And, uh, you know, he was just ding, 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 nailing down at me with his jab pull arm. So anyway, I was getting nailed, and I couldn't enter on him because of reach. Uh, so I switched to southpaw because he would lean back. He would, he would lean back against all my, like, big, long hooks and haymakers and stuff, and he would go ding, 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 ding. He would lean back, do a pull. So I went to southpaw and stapled that one, two, three, and the second jab, would the first would miss. He leans back, and the second one would nail him really hard, and the third one kind of. So I use the foot staple a lot, triple jab, AC Mike. Um... So yeah, there's about the foot staple. It is very, very, very useful. Now on to calf kicks. I've been preaching calf kicks since 2012. If you look, I have the earliest videos, updates 2015, but I had them on my old channel. I filmed them in August 2012. Um, I was the first guy with videos on using calf kicks for MMA. Uh, inside and outside. 
different combinations and the first video. So look at my calf kicks first video teaching UFC fighters, whatever, 2012. And uh, when will UFC fighters finally learn how to check the calf kick? I've been teaching this since 2012. I color commentated it for UFC Fight Pass while calling Pancrase events back in 2015, 2016. UFC commentators never ever mentioned the word calf kick until mid 2017 and now it's all they talk about. Um, so AC Mike, yeah, you can break the leg with a calf kick. I'm not saying that's the main thing I'm going for in a street fight, but you can break the leg with a calf kick. Um, so guys, check out the videos on the calf kick. I have a, a video of me using it and sparring at Kings MMA, just a short clip. That was one week before Benson Henderson did it against Nate Diaz, which people finally started to notice. Actually, back on the MMA TV underground forum, I had a big thread. Diaz brothers are awesome, but and I da 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 da, -da labeled this bunch of stuff. Open a leg kicks, their closed stance. By closed stance, I mean softball here, and they have a toed in stance. Toed in stance means you're always open to the outside leg kicks, and especially the calf kick. That would sweep Nate Diaz down. In fact, I sent it to their Gracie coach, uh, and he looked at the videos and said thanks. And I, I think that Nathan. Diaz saw it, I believe, Nate. Let me know, homie. Um, because uh, early on in the fight, he tried to do the check, but he's so closed in stance and towed in. He tried to do the check, and notice this is far away, guys. I'll be rolling B footage. He put, uh, he tried to check, but didn't get the angle right. It was here instead of here. And so, boom, it swept that leg off the, uh, swept him down to the ground. Um, Benson really wasn't the first. Marlon Sandro, I believe, was a guy doing it in Bellator before I even noticed. And um, anyway, I came up with it really using it because I was sparring Roger Gracie. When I was at Black House, mostly sparring Leona Machida, pretending to be Ryan Bader three months leading up to that fight, flawless victory. Um, but sparring Roger Gracie. I'm a pretty good grappler, but you don't want Roger Gracie on top of you in an MMA fight. I'd be getting my face bashed in and maybe eventually choked out. So, I, you know, do jab, leg kick, or left hook, right, low kick, and uh, his long arm, because again, he's 6'4", he would just chop down on the leg, and he took me down once or twice. I was like, well, this sucks. This is not where I want to be. So I started doing up jab to outside calf kick. And I see Mike, you can break the leg, it's happened. The fibula um, is, is the, the fibula is very, very on the outside bone. The fibula is very, very thin. The tibia is a bit bigger on the inside. Eventually that could break too, but it's bigger. And no one's really, you've seen people use it to sweep open the base, but not really kick it for damage like we've seen in the outside calf kick. Um, the up jab outside calf kick is good because it gets them leaning back and gets that weight and then bam, you nail it and you might get the sweep too, especially if they have a closed stance. From a good square stance, powerful boss rooting type, uh, you know, Ernesto Hu's style Dutch kickboxing type stance, you just check to the outside. So, um, only seen it checked twice good until two weeks ago UFC. Two weeks ago UFC, three fighters checked the outside calf kick correctly. Unbelievably. Finally, after all these years, it's finally getting out there. Three different fighters, no one talked about it, actually checked the calf kick correctly. There's two other ways I've showed. I'll roll in brief footage. If you're not in a like, toad in you know, boxing stance like the Diaz brothers. If you're open, you're, you're good to go. That's the best check. Uh, Malapets use that. And you could also do lift leg defense to the clinch, especially if you're near the cage. So you could lift and as they go under, their back's being turned and they're spinning around and you fall under the clinch. Or if you're taking a lot of damage, last but not least, as long as, like if you're here, you can't do loosey leg, but if you're square, you could, if you're getting hit hard, you could loosey leg out of it and two, three, two. Lucy leg out of it, two, three, two. So um, those are the defenses to the calf kick. When did it break? Way back 2012, 2013, I started sharing my videos with Marlon Moraes. Marlon Moraes, WSOF, four, broke the leg of Brendan Hamilton. He broke the fibula. In August 2013, WSOF, four. I think it's because I was sharing these videos with Marlon. I think that's why, maybe other coaches, whatever, I don't know, but yeah, I was sharing my videos and that became a huge part of his game, uh, the calf kick, which people um, you know, then used. Guys, of course, uh, Roy McDonald versus BJ Penn. We saw Wounded Crane stance, I call it a Daniel Sun Wounded Crane stance from, um, Hampleton had to do that over and over again in the fight. He was tough and he survived the fight on one leg 
trying to kick off one leg, crane kick off one leg, trying to Imanari roll standing on one leg in the wounded crane stance. BJ Penn got his butt beat by Roy McDonald, who was doing kick mix-up everywhere. Knee kicks, oblique kicks, side kicks to the knee, I think, uh, switch punch stuff, uh, calf kiss, etc. He was started doing wounded crane stance. And anytime someone, especially in the corner of the cage, does wounded crane stance, boom, they're done. Don't ever do that, guys. Um, and, of course, Jeremy Stevens versus Gil Melendez is another great example. Stevens was killing Gil with the calf kicks. I tried to share it with the, the scrap pack. I tried to share it, guys. I, I'm cool with Gil. When I interviewed him, he was awesome. You know, I thought I'd always be pretty tight with the Diaz brothers. I don't know. Um, oh, and Melipet, guys, in kickboxing. Melipet nailed the guy, I think, three times with the outside calf kick. And then the guy, he put, baited the guy. And then the guy threw it back. Melipet did the best ch check. And then the guy stumbled because the check hurt his leg so bad. And then Melipet just went, rah, rah, started going into his cast like six seven times after that and it stopped the fight so yeah there you go mr hard to her little funny man the foot staple works calf kicks works i just told you about using it against fabricio verdum and about using it against roger gracie um so yeah so that stuff works. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, please share, please subscribe. It always makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. I'll be putting in some footage with the real steel and with the calf kicks and all that. Uh, and hopefully this turns out well. And uh, anyway, guys, I appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers.